Hey everyone, today we're in Granite, Oklahoma, and we're here to check out a cemetery. It's a jokey little cemetery, a little sense of humor, but it is a roadside attraction in this small town of Granite, Oklahoma. It's a little windy out today, so hopefully you can hear me. Well, let's uh, walk around and have a look at this tourist attraction. So you can see that sign there. It says, Welcome to Granite. This is Granite, Oklahoma a small town in the southwestern part of the state. You can see a baseball field in the school. It's a quiet little town and you can see mountains all around. These are the granite mountains. There's solar panels right there so maybe they're living off the grid. That's a lot of solar panels for that size house. He's putting up Christmas decorations I see. On top of that mountain there is a white cross way up there. Won't be able to zoom in and catch that one. We're here to visit this cemetery, and it is not a serious cemetery, just to preface that, but it is interesting, so we're going to walk in there and have a look. But you can see some of the equipment that they use to harvest some of the granite from these mountains right here. That's all granite up through there. It's where the town gets its name. And of course, I'm sure that you recognize this guy. This is Will Rogers. It's all made of granite. We'll take a look at this first. Now this is next to this monument company here. You can see the pieces of granite that they've got right to the side and out back. And it looks like they've been having like a pumpkin chunking contest or something. I don't know. But this is a huge uh, mural here, I guess you could say, of Will Rogers. Sure, you've heard of this guy. I haven't done a story on him yet. So we'll save a little bit of the history of him for that story. I do plan on doing it, and uh, I have done a story on Wiley Post who died in a plane crash with him. So if you haven't seen that, that might be something that you want to check out. Tell a little tiny bit about him, I guess. Oh, I see little names in this, so that's interesting. I've been here, but it's years ago, and I've forgotten a lot of it. If you notice these big chunks of granite here, these are kind of like jackhammer drill marks. That's what those lines are where they kind of drill down in it and make several uh, sort of incisions and then it uh, breaks it off. But yeah, it's a huge piece of uh, art right here. A bunch of pieces of granite. Yeah, it's a bunch of names here. I've forgotten about these. I I've been down here, but it was years and years and years ago. But uh, it just talks about this is dedicated to like the Howard family. A pioneer family came to Oklahoma in 1905 um bank of granite all kinds of stuff this is an interesting part of the state for sure and uh you can see that how large this is i don't know how tall that is i wish they had a sign saying how tall it was and how many pounds of granite are there what it took to get those there it looks like it's lit up at night as well i've never been through here at night but let's go in this cemetery now this cemetery could be pronounced several different ways comicos i would think because of comedy is how i would think it was said but i have heard comicos almost like a blackhead i guess you could say great big piece of granite right here it's like a tree that's long gone and dead there's a sign that'll tell a little bit here. These are not real graves. Like I said, they're cenotaphs, as the gate says right here. They do have that locked. I was hoping we could go in there. I've been in there before. But it says, Welcome to the Comicos Cemetery, just for the fun of it, established in Wichita Falls, Texas, by Dr. Dan and Eleanor Roberts. Their interest in cemetery memorials, their keen observations, and sense of humor led them to create this unique attraction and this is a tourist attraction believe it or not here in uh, granite oklahoma most people go to quartz mountain lodge though it's a tourist destination there but i guess this is something here too because like i said i've been by here before just kind of driving around after i've stayed in the uh, lodge it says the cemetery was originally located at the roberts home and veterinary clinic in wichita falls texas Upon Doc, Dr. Roberts' retirement and the selling of their property, Comacos had a stay in Iowa Park, Texas. Dr. Roberts ultimately made the decision that his cemetery 
should eventually be returned to Granite, Oklahoma, where all the stones had originated. This cemetery stands in honor of Dr. Dan and Eleanor Roberts, uh, Friends Extraordinaire, dedicated November 4th, 2006, by Bill and Ellen Willis and family. I think I must have seen this right after it was placed here because I can't even remember this monument or anything. But yeah, these are all cenotaphs. Some of them are pretty funny. Let's see if we can read some of them. Hans Gunter, 1940 to 1975, and it says communists in quotation marks. Pity the man who believes in communism. He believes in something that does not believe in him. So like I said, these are supposed to be just kind of a twist on humor. Say what you will about the devil, he's a hustler. And uh, Abe Lincoln is the name down there. Joe Jones, 1896 to 1929, atheist. And uh, it says his, let's see if we can get a better look here. His worst moments uh, were when he felt grateful and had no one to thank. And so live that you wouldn't be ashamed to sell the family parrot to the town gossip, Will Rogers. 1900 to 1944 is what it says. Penelope Richard, life is like a piano. What you get out of it depends on how you play it. Which is actually a pretty good saying there. Here's another Willism, I guess you could say. That's what we refer to him here in Oklahoma. 1879 to 1935. I don't make jokes. I just watch the government and report the facts. Now, how true is that? After what we have kind of seen the last two years, I don't care which side of the spectrum you are on. We have seen some crazy stuff. Pat O'Brien, 1880 to 1940. Uh, is buried here today. He led the life of Riley while Riley was something. I can't. Bottom part's covered with grass and we can't get in there. Now that back one back there says if men could get pregnant, abortion would be a sacrament. Bishop Patrick Jones, 1880 to 1960, uh, great theologian. His last sermon, the mirror, that one's really hard to read. Yeah, if I could get closer, it would be different. And let's see what we can read some of these. Sacred to the memory of Jared Bates, died August of 1876. His widow, age 24, lives at 7 Elm Street, has money, every qualification of a good wife, and, uh, and yearns to be comforted. So it's kind of like a little advertisement there, billboard. Just be thankful that you're not getting all the government you're paying for. Will Rogers. So I do love the Willisms. Um, he was quite the man for that. And uh, John McDonald, 1898 to 1959. Here I lie between two of the best women in the world, my wives. But I told my relatives to uh, till me toward Tilly. We'll walk around maybe and see a little bit more of it. We've got... a. Uh, Flim Snopes, 1880 to 1940, scoundrel. On his deathbed, he was asked if he would like to denounce the devil. He replied, now is not the time to be making new enemies. <laughs> William Ashley, Sunday, 1862 to 1935. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than going to a garage makes you an automobile. And... Uh, that one right there, the next one over, it just says, Here lies the body of John Brown, lost at sea and never found. So, just kind of a play on words there. Like I said, this is a jokey thing. Just not even really cenotaphs, I would call it. Joe Jackson, 1890 to 1940, great athlete. He played like a wife's divorce lawyer. He went after everything. <laughs> Polly Weeks, 1857 to 1886. I told you I was sick. And these really do look real, but they're not. I mean, this, this has a Bible on top and the gates of heaven opening up with the uh, crown jewels there. And it says, uh, weep a bit for the easy lot. He, wa he was lit, his lights were not, 1840 to 1865. And, uh, and I think this one says, here lies uh, Ben Evil beneath the sod. 
despised by men and hated by God. The people were glad that the Lord was willing and the devil was mad to receive such a villain, 1887. So it looks like they have room for others. I don't know if they had plans for that or not. Look at these big chunks of granite here that are from this uh, mountain range here. You can see here where they've got those same drill marks in it where they've harvested those. There's actually a, a, some bones right there. We've got a, you know, we've got a pelvic bone right there is what that is. And uh, some kind of leg bones, it looks like. Looks like they've been placed there on purpose. I don't know. But kind of interesting. I don't know if we can read a whole lot more here or not. So look at the back side of it. This, of course, looks like a woodman of the world. Not sure what it's going to say here, though. It does say Woodman of the World Memorial. Sacred to the memory of Jared Bates, died August 1876. His widow, age 24, lives at 7 Elm Street, has money, every qualification. It's just like the one that we saw a little bit earlier. Here lies John Yeast, pardon me for not rising. So these really are just kind of a tongue-in-cheek humor here. A man is not complete until he is married, then he's finished anonymous. I was married by a judge. I should have been asked I should have asked for a jury, George Burns. So like I said, it's kind of a funny cemetery. I do remember being able to go in here. And maybe they've had some problems with people knocking those over or uh, doing something else. I don't know. Not allowing you now, but it is an interesting one. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the humor in this little cemetery as well as this great big huge mural back here, all made out of granite from the mountains right back behind here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.